hey everyone welcome to my channel my name is michelle hi how are you guys doing i hope well and in today's video i am sharing with you guys how i maintain my extensions and how i wash my extensions at home and honestly this has allowed me to maintain the quality of the hair and also it prolonged the lifespan of the hair so i'm going to share with you guys my step-by-step -step guide on how i go about washing my extensions at home so the first thing that you really want to get into is detangling before washing you want to gently detangle your extensions and you can do this by using a wide tooth comb or a specialized hairbrush like the one that i'm using you can use any hairbrush Brush, to be honest like a paddle brush or something um to help you to detangle your hair and you really do want to start from the ends and work your way up to the roots because you want to avoid damaging the actual extensions so this is also a major um big tip that you definitely want to detangle your hair before you actually start washing it the second step in this process is washing your actual hair so i'm going in with the pantene gold series sulfate free shop sulfate free shampoo and when i say i love this shampoo i love this shampoo not only for my natural hair but i also love it for the extensions because the extensions mimic my natural hair and one of the things that i love to do is submerge my extensions in water and basically just try my best to get the water to soak into my scalp because that is also something that i want to clean i want to make sure that i'm cleaning my scalp and i want to make sure that i'm like scrubbing my scalp as much as i can get it to scrub i like to do this twice because again you have a lot of product in your hair sometimes you have a lot of oils a lot of edge control what i do and i just try my best to get it as clean as possible and like i said i'm using a sulfate free shampoo and this shampoo was not drying at all but it did it was stripping but it wasn't drying so i really 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 love that about this shampoo the third step in this process basically dyeing my hair so after i shampooed my hair i decided to go in and dye my hair i did use cream of nature and revlon i used the cream of nature on the top of my hair and then i used the revlon on the actual extensions that is what i normally use on my extensions um because i just feel like revlon is a lot cheaper it goes a longer way but texture tone or cream of nature those permanent dyes i feel like they are more safer for my actual natural hair or my relaxed hair so i decided to go in with those and the only reason i'm doing it this way guys is because i was lazy before i put in the extensions i was actually supposed to dye my hair by itself and then the extensions by itself but i was too lazy to do that so yeah <laughs> The fourth step in this process is washing out the dye and you want to make sure that you thoroughly wash out the dye. One thing I will note is that I did use cold water to wash out the dye out of my hair and I also made sure that the dye was like out of my hair like I did not see anything but clear water because you don't want to keep a dye in your hair and your hair is not over processed after that i went in and conditioned my hair i did not use a small amount of conditioner i used a lot of conditioner and i basically used that all over my extensions i used it over my natural hair as well and guys when i say this conditioner was amazing these this pantene gold series i definitely will invest in it again i definitely want to get this because after i put this in my hair my hair felt so moisturized and it is what it says it's a moisture boost right and i think that my hair needed the moisture especially now that i'm in a new environment a colder environment my hair was like yes we love this so i'm definitely going to be re-upping this because it is amazing i just hope i can find it again
The next step in the process is detangling or combing through the conditioned hair. I rinsed out the conditioner and like I said, this condition is amazing. It brought back moisture and all of that good stuff in my hair. I was just um, doing this this step just to make sure that there was no kinks there was no tangles or anything and as you guys can see the brush was just gliding through the hair so i really 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 love this conditioner and this is just an extra step that i do you don't necessarily have to do this but this is just an extra step that i did This next step is honestly the longest step for me because, and it is very important because you want to make sure that your hair is dried properly. Now, sometimes I wash my hair and I just wash the extensions and I don't submerge my hair under water or anything like that. With that, you can just air dry this particular, these extensions that I have in and it air dries, air dries really nicely. Like if you guys watch my vlogs, you'll see it in my previous vlogs. But on this particular day, I had to go out, I had to be with friends and I was already two hours late. And of course, it just was my fault, but um, you wanna make sure that you dry your hair properly. And so I decided to go in and start blow drying my hair um, because again i submerged my hair in water and that would have mean that my plaits and all of that good stuff was wet and so you want to make sure that the hair is dried as as dry as you can get it with the blow dryer definitely try and see if you can get it dried The next part of the process, which is like a part B to this process that I do, is that I use like my hooded dryer. I did get this from Amazon. I will leave it linked in my description box below because it was pretty affordable and it was also, it has also helped me a lot. But I like to put this on my head to dry my plaits. A lot of people say they don't necessarily do this, but this is very important to me, especially with these extensions, because it's just a bit much. Next, I have four bundles or like three point something, 3.5, like in amount of bundles in my hair. And so my hair needs to dry properly. And like I said, I'm in a new place. It's cold. This particular day was also cold. And so I did not want to go out and get sick or get a head cold or anything like that. And even if you want to be very careful when you submerge your head in your head or your hair in water, because then it also has a tendency to smell very frowsy. And you don't want nobody smelling your hair and they're like one mcfushi hair smell like that you don't want that and so this additional step or part b to this step is very important for me and i just do it when i'm doing my makeup like it is one of the easiest things to do now we are on the final step and the final step is styling so once your extensions are completely dried and when i say completely dry guys make sure that those plaits are dried make sure that your plaits and the nape of your hair is dried one you want to ensure that they're dried because you don't want them to smell frowsy two you want to make sure that the hair underneath is not tangled as well because some hairs tend to tangle if they're not dried properly um if you have to go back in with a blow dryer you wanna this is the time for you to do all of those things and then of course you can um style your hair as you des as desired by you i normally go in with a flat iron but honestly on this particular day i did have to go meet up with a friend or friends and i was very very late so i'm so sorry that i was unable to flat iron my hair but i think 
you guys know how to flat iron your hair so i didn't feel like this was so so much of an important process um or important part but um flat ironing this particular hair is pretty easy um and so i just basically flat ironed my hair into the extensions just to make sure that my hair um it looks seamless and it blends well you want to make sure that your leave out, leave out is blending well another thing that you want to ensure is that you have or are using a heat protectant um spraying a heat protectant to ensure that the hair is not damaged is also very important and before i close out this particular video i just want to say depending on how often you use your extensions you want to make sure that you're washing them at least every month to keep them looking nice to keep them looking fresh um another thing you want to make sure that you avoid using a lot of heat on your extensions that's something that i try not to do and you also don't want to over wash your extensions because you don't want them to look dry and they can sometimes get damaged if you overwash them as well so those are just some additional steps or additional tips that i wanted to let you guys know and this is just an easy and effective way that you can wash your extensions at home you can save money and you're maintaining your extensions and ensuring that they look beautiful for a longer period of time and with that being said i will talk to you guys in my next upload thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys soon bye guys